Hey YouTube, it's Arianne and I'm back with my seven week and three day update. Symptoms are all pretty much the same. Um, nausea has actually gotten a little bit better. I think I mentioned in my last video I was starting to get some moments of it where I was getting kind of sick. I hadn't really thrown up but a couple times during the day I would get to where I just did not feel good and I had to lay down. Um, but that's kind of gone away the last two or three days. I haven't really had it. A couple, a couple, a couple moments. Um, but barely even noticeable and so short-lived it's as if almost it didn't even happen. So I'm really hoping that this is it. That this is as bad as it gets. I'm just really hoping. I am still really just tired. Uh, it's really hard if I sit down to do anything. It's really hard to motivate myself to get back up and get things done. And as the day kind of progresses, I get more and more um, just really exhausted to the point where almost I'm not feeling good. I feel really achy. Like if I'm sitting down, like especially after 6 o'clock at night, if I'm sitting down and I have to get up to do something, I'm so weak that I almost feel like I'm going to pass out and I feel like my whole body's like... I don't know, like not functioning and I have to like catch my breath. feels like I would imagine feeling when I'm, like I felt when I was nine months pregnant. I'm just more tired and I'm more, I can tell my body is not functioning quickly. It's not recovering quickly from sitting to standing, especially when I'm tired. I do get more, I think I get more nausea at nighttime when I do get the feelings of it. But like I said, it's not bad. It's not much to deal with. Um... Let's see, I have had a couple more moments of like painful, like gassing, cr gas cramps. So that's not been fun. Um, I, oh, good news. I mentioned in my last video I was getting congested in my nose and having to take Afrin, and that hasn't happened almost since my last video. I haven't had to take Afrin. So that's been really nice. I'm sure it'll come back, but. I don't want it here this soon. It's just a little early to be dealing with that. Um, haven't had any major cravings. The only ones that I've really had that are kind of interesting to me is I've been craving milk. Like I just want to drink milk. And I love milk. I'm a huge dairy person. I love milk. But I'm the kind of person, I'm really picky about how I get my calories. And I'm not the kind of person, I don't like to drink my calories. I feel like drinking your calories is just kind of cheating. I'd rather eat it. And so I've never been one to really drink milk because I love it so much that if I start to drink it, I can't stop. And I've never really had cravings for milk. I just always like it. But lately I've actually been having cravings like I want to drink a glass of cold milk and I just want to like chug it, which is different for me. I, I don't usually want to and like even juice. Like there have been a couple times where I've given my, my girls juice and we're not a big juice family. I'm not a big, you know, I don't know, there's not a lot of real health benefits to juice, but, um, like I'll give my girls juice and then I'll drink it and I'm like, oh, this is good. And I'm not, I am not a juice person. I never have been a juice person. Even when I was little, juice was not my thing and I couldn't tell you why. That's what's weird. Like I know it's good, Logi logically it's good, it's sweet. I've just never been a juice person. And the other thing I've been craving is fruit. And I've never been a fruit person. Again, couldn't tell you why. There are certain fruits I do like, um, but like overall, apples, oranges, yeah, take it or leave it, you know. Strawberries, I like them, especially my fresh ones out of my garden, but like, it's not like I stock up on them and just have to have them, like grapes too, you know, they're okay, but lately I've just been having a craving for fruit, like fresh fruit. I haven't had any weight gain this last week. In fact, I've actually felt like a lot of my bloating has gone away, like a, like in my arms and stuff. Um, not really gone away, but maybe gotten a little bit better. This weekend, I felt horribly bloated. I had this one day where I was so bloated. We actually did a really fun thing this weekend. My sister and both of my sisters 
who have four kids each and then me and my two girls we all went and spent the night at my mom's house with her foster kids and we all had like a two night sleepover and we just it was so much fun we played games and all the kids cousins played outside and we went and did a couple different things and it was just a really fun weekend but I was so bloated I swear I gained like five pounds of water weight and I spent the whole week like in sweatpants and a baggy shirt because I was just so uncomfortable and just so embarrassed like I was I don't know what was going on. I don't know how that happened, but it's kind of gone away now, so I'm hoping it stays gone. I don't know. Um, that's about it. Oh, the other, okay, so the, uh, the last symptom that I actually experienced last week that I forgot to mention in my six-week video that I actually was so mad at myself for forgetting to mention it because it was so significant that I was, I was going to go back through and edit my last video, but I was like, whatever, I'll just put it in my seventh week update, but... I've started getting pregnancy carpal tunnel and this is never, I have never gotten carpal tunnel before. Never in my first two pregnancies, never after and it was, so it was about a week and a half ago I woke up one morning and my, on my right, it was only my right hand but like, you know, this joint right here um, in your thumb, like when you open your thumb it hurts so bad and I couldn't figure out what I did wrong, like if I had slept on it funny or if I had done something the day before but like trying to open things, any use of my thumb, trying to pick my girls up, it hurt. And for that first day, I was like, what's going on? And it kind of went away as the day went on. It got better. I think just using my thumb made it get better. This morning I woke up and it hurt really bad. Like I couldn't move my thumb and I actually took some Tylenol for it because it hurt so bad and I was like researching it online. I guess it is normal. A lot of pregnant women do get carpal tunnel and it's just, it's not fun. It hurts and I'm gonna probably buy a brace. I don't know, it's so early in pregnancy to be having these weird symptoms, but anyway, um, I, I haven't mentioned who I've told yet, so I figured I'd tell you who I've told that we are pregnant, and actually, I'm a little embarrassed because we have actually told a lot of people that I'm pregnant. I say we, I have. My husband, I don't think, has told anybody, but I've actually told a lot of people that I'm pregnant because I have a lot of friends here that I'm really close with. And um, there's a really awesome group of girls that I go to church with and we have a play date every week. And I've known them now for three years and we're just like best friends and we are together all the time at church, all the time with our kids. And so I've told them and I mean most of them are my really good friends anyway and so I've told all of them that I'm pregnant. And um, I have a couple friends that, that just I, I don't know that I'm close to and I've told them so um, a couple of them are also a part of the weight loss group I was kind of a part of a weight loss challenge and so I told them because I was no longer losing weight no longer able to lose weight and I started gaining weight ra rather rapidly and so I, I told a couple of those girls were in that group as well so I've told them my family knows I should not all of them my dad doesn't know my brother doesn't know but my sisters and my mom know that I'm pregnant and all their kids know that I'm pregnant so it's a lot of people to know that I'm pregnant uh, my husband's family doesn't know, and they probably won't know until I'm 12 weeks. And at this point, I'm not going to tell anybody else until I'm 12 weeks. But <clears throat> but I've never told this many people that I'm pregnant, and I'm really just, I guess, being hopeful that, you know, it's going to be a good, good, healthy, sticky baby, that nothing goes wrong. I'm a little embarrassed that I've told so many people, but at the same time, I feel pretty confident about this pregnancy. Um, I haven't had any problems, I haven't had any bleeding, I haven't had any weird things to kind of make me worry. Not that that means anything, obviously something could still happen, but I haven't had any doctor's appointments yet. We have our first doctor's appointment July 3rd, and I will be 10 weeks. And I'm really excited. We are using a midwife that, the same midwife that I used with my last daughter, we're using them again, and she, the midwife, um, is awesome. She was there for every single prenatal appointment that I had and then she was there for the labor and delivery and her name is Debbie and it was just such a bonding experience to have the same person be there for that whole experience um, it was just so nice I loved it I loved the intimate feel of going to a midwife and it was a, it was a birth center so I didn't have her in a hospital and we're doing the same thing again and I'm just really excited to have that familiarity. I don't think I mentioned this before in any of my vlogs and I'm going to mention it really quick because it is something I'm really excited about. I don't know how likely it's going to be and how much it's going to happen 
but in my photography I really want to get into birth photos. I love looking at pictures of newborn babies and moms holding their newborn babies in like these special moments that just seeing them actually captured. Um, pictures where the husband's like got his arm around his wife and is like helping her push. Just those really emotional pictures that you just look at and you want to cry because you know they're so special. I see those pictures and I'm like I want to do that. That is such a special thing to capture. I know probably most photographers charge an arm and a leg. I've never really looked at um, the cost for that, but I really want to offer and do photography for birth and be able to make it really financially feasible. And, you know, obviously my first couple ones are going to be like super dirt cheap and then they'll probably get a little bit more costly after that, but not costly. I still want to make it to where anybody could afford it. You've got your spouse with you. Hopefully your spouse is going to be helping you, is going to be supporting you, is going to be holding your hand and like coaching you, isn't going to be saying, hey honey, hold on, I'm going to go back here and take pictures. Like, how nice just to have a photographer that doesn't have to, you know, take time away from your special, or can allow you to have your special moment and then, and then capture that. So I spoke to my midwife when I made the appointment and told her this is what I wanted to do. And she said, she was very supportive and she said if, you know, she has any girls that are, you know, soon to, to go into labor, Okay, let's see. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I think there's actually some gentlemen that have subscribed to me. So, sorry, I do say ladies a lot. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, sounds kind of weird since I'm talking about pregnancy, but maybe there are some guys that want to watch this. Anyway, sorry about that. My, um, my, my, I ran out of room on my card, so I just grabbed another card really quick. But, okay, anyway, so we'll see. I'm really excited and hoping that in the future I'll have some really awesome experiences to be there for a live birth. I've always wanted to be like a midwife. I've always thought being a midwife would be just the most fun job in the world. Um, but man, if I could be a photographer, just like a fly on the wall to be there for such an awesome experience, it makes me so excited. My friend, Luisana, she is said that I could be there to take pictures. So, and it doesn't have to be it can be more up in personal, up close and personal pictures if you want them to be, you know what I mean? But they don't have to be. You don't have to take pictures of, you know, the actual birth. That can be more, hey, turn the camera off and let's wait a second. So it's totally up to the comfort of the mother. What else to say, ladies? I think that's about it. Hopefully, um, I don't know. Oh, and on a good note, yay, really exciting news is I didn't have any life De like near-death experiences this last week. No accidents, nothing fell and hit my head. Um, I didn't get hit by a car. Yeah, I'm alive and have no broken bones. So that's really good. I I'm doing a little better. Um, I want to say a huge, huge, huge congratulations to Egg Meat Sperm. She is pregnant and it is so exciting. Like I I'm so excited for her, and I feel so bad. I just have to say really quick, YouTube is not a place for nasty comments and selfish comments. Ladies, don't do it. Don't go there. Be better than that. She got a bunch of flack for being so happy about being pregnant, and it's just really sad that she actually had to take off her um, live pregnancy test because she had gotten so much negative feedback and that shouldn't be any cause for negative feedback if you're trying to conceive and you can't and you're so bitter about it don't watch people's vlogs that might possibly get pregnant like how do you filter that you can't if people are trying to conceive that means there's a chance they might get pregnant if they do get pregnant it means they're going to be happy about it so anyway, that made me really upset that she got so much flack. But at the same time, I hope that the excitement of that little baby in her belly is just worth it, that she can just hopefully ride it off. But anyway, egg meat sperm, I'm so happy for you. And I really hope this is a good sticky baby made out of lots of maple syrup. Just stick, stick, stick right into your uterus and don't move. So anyway, okay, there was my excitement shout out for her. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. off for seven weeks. Um, I do feel it is still a little round, a little puffy on the front. Um, 
okay, so really quick. We'll do a measure. So let's see. That's about 35 and a half. 35, actually 35 and three quarters. That's kind of where that is. Anyway. Hey. Thank you, ladies. We'll see you next week.